this is Chris Bond here for Ticket to Ride Worldwide Surfing Adventures. I'm an ISA Level 2 Surf Coach and I'm going to be taking you through this webisode of surf tips to help improve your surfing. Today's webisode we're going to be looking at the cutback. The cutback is both a beginner maneuver, the first move you learn how to do, as well as a very complex move when you try and do it like Taylor Knox. So without further ado, let's get off the beach into the water and break it down for you. The approach and setup for the cutback it's slightly different to other maneuvers and that it isn't quite as important that you get the angles just right. You can approach it in different ways and there are many different variations. You'll see that the surfer is approached at quite a slight angle, making sure he gets nice and high up on the wave before he starts to turn. The most important part about a cutback is getting nice and low, that compression, and then the rotation. You can see how his body is rotating and where he's looking where he's going, which is really helping him get some speed and drive through that turn. A little bit of compression in the legs, then goes into extension which gets him nice and high up where he can then do almost like a backhand top turn on the rebound to come back down and complete a full roundhouse cutback. There are many different variations of the cutback. They don't all have to be the roundhouse. This one you can see is approached it with more speed and he's almost just pushing through it more not getting as high up on the rebound, but coming out of it with a lot of speed. Here's a nice laid back one. His body is fully extended. This is definitely not your textbook one, but it looks pretty stylish. And he still comes out of this turn. You can see he cuts back and gets nice and low just to complete it and make sure he gets into the white water before getting pushed out. On this particular cutback, you'll see that his rail starts to bury, but because he stayed so nice and low and he's using his right hand as a pivot point, it helps him to maintain his speed through the turn and actually to still complete it with a lot of spray being thrown, get back into the power pocket of the wave, which is what's going to set him up for his next maneuver on this wave. The three most common mistakes that people make with a cutback are firstly, trying to turn too hard at the beginning, which means you lose all your speed. So you can go into it nice and slow and hold your speed right through the turn. The next mistake is straightening your legs too early. Try and keep them nice and compressed. That way you're also gonna hold your speed and be able to choose the line you wanna draw. The third mistake that people make is not looking at where they're going. Where you look is where you go. So if you wanna cut back all the way into the white water, you gotta look there and that'll help you get there. All right. So that was the cutback for you, hope you enjoyed it. Get off your chair, grab your surfboard and go start practicing it. If you want to see some more of our videos, you can subscribe here. Or if you've got any comments or questions, please post them below. See you next time.